The killing of a Hezbollah commander in southern Lebanon on January 8, 2024, has raised concern that the conflict between Israel and Hamas could escalate into a regional war. Wissam Al-Tal, the head of a unit that operates on Lebanon's southern border, was killed in a targeted Israeli airstrike just days after a senior Hamas leader was assassinated in Beirut and amid sporadic attacks by Hezbollah on Israeli targets. But how likely is a full-scale conflict between Israel and Hezbollah? What do we know about the latest strike? We know that it was an Israeli drone that killed Al-Tal. Hezbollah has since released picture of him with Hassan Nasrallah, the group's secretary general, and Qasem Soleiman, the former head of Quds Force, one of Iran's main military branches, who was assassinated by the US in 2020. This suggests that Al-Tal was a major target for Israel, as he clearly had connections with top figures in Lebanon and Iran. The fact that it was a drone attack is also important. This suggests that the operation was based on good Israeli intelligence on Al-Tal's whereabouts. This wasn't a chance encounter. This was clearly a calculated and precise attack. So this doesn't mark an escalation? It was just 10 kilometers north of the Israel-Lebanon border. This is still within the geographical area where the two sides have been exchanging fire since the October 7th attack by Hamas in Israel. So this is still within the realm of border skirmishes, to my mind, and falls short of full war. Is it in the interests of Israel to escalate conflict? For Israel, the pressure is from outside the country. There is immense international pressure on Israel not to start a full-blown war with Hezbollah. What about pressure within Israel? Certainly within Israel there is a strong lobby for war with Hezbollah. The thinking among Israeli military hawks here is a powerful military blow against Hezbollah would allow people living in the north of Israel to return to homes they evacuated when it looked like war might be in the cards. And what about Hezbollah? How might it respond? Nasrallah, Hezbollah's leader, is between a rock and a hard place. The majority of Lebanese people clearly do not want a war. But any attack resulting in the deaths of high-ranking Hezbollah figures will be met by internal demands for action. Is there a diplomatic way forward? Meanwhile, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said the goal of returning Israeli citizens to their homes in the north would be done diplomatically, if possible. But added, if not, we will work in other ways. Similarly in Lebanon, the talk is of a diplomatic solution. Notably by enforcing United Nations Resolution 1701 which calls for Hezbollah to withdraw north of the Lidani River and for Israel to withdraw to the international border. Does Iran have any role in influencing Hezbollah's response? Iran has immense influence over Hezbollah. It pays for military operations and equipment. But Hezbollah is not only an Iranian proxy, it has domestic considerations, and its interests lie with the Lebanese political scene. For that reason, Hezbollah is attuned to the domestic popular pressure in Lebanon against a war. But a full war between Israel and Hezbollah may draw Iran into direct confrontation with Israel and the US. And that is something that leaders in Tehran will most likely not want, especially after a terror attack in Iran on January. 3. Exposed how vulnerable Iran is internally.